Today I have a Bose remote control I'm going to repair for the button problems. Um, this one is uh, not an infrared remote, it's a, it's a RF remote. Um, but they have button failures and this one's already been repaired using uh, conductive paint and that it has failed and I'll show you that. I've already opened this up and we've taken a look at it. Um, here we have the membrane keypad repair kit and this will go inside the remote between the rubber pad and the circuit board and replace all the buttons. This, these black dots will be the new conductive part of the button and the plastic layer um, also blocks out dirt and oil from messing up the buttons again. Uh, to take it apart it's pretty easy. You just need a small flat screwdriver, small Phillips screwdriver. Um, you probably want a cleaning rag or Q-tips, cotton balls, and isopropyl alcohol. I recommend 91%. If you can only get 70, that's okay. It just has more water in it. Just be aware of that. To get the remote apart, you just take the battery cover off, and uh, there's one screw right here. You'll notice some. Um, this one rattles, and I'll show you why. Um, we can fix that. All you got to do is take that one screw out in the bottom. And it's got a bunch of plastic snaps along the side. And once you've got that one bottom one out, you can kind of wedge this open just a little bit. You don't need to get very far. And I want to take the screwdriver and put it in like that. I'm not going in and prying. I'm just putting in like this and I'm going to slide it up and you can start to see there's there's the first clip. And it, I'm not prying or anything, I'm just going along in that groove. If it does give you trouble, you know, at the clip, you might just sit there and wiggle it a little bit. I've gone up a couple on that side. I'm going to go over to the other side and do the same thing. Yeah, so it didn't, uns well, it did unsnap there. I just didn't hear it because it was, so I'm going to keep going. trying not to close the clips I've already opened on the other side. Okay. Got a couple. And I go right up like that. Get that last one. There we go. And then the last couple over here. Okay. And then you just kind of lift it up like that. Okay. Now we've got the circuit board and the rubber keypad right here. If this is really dirty, I would just suggest, or oily or anything, just gunky, you could just take it to the kitchen sink and wash it with soap and hot water and let it dry off good before you put it back. And the circuit board has to be cleaned. Um, this one has had painted, every single one of these has conductive paint put on it. So somebody's repaired this in the past. Conductive paint does not last. It flakes off and builds up on the circuit board. And I'll give you a close-up of these buttons. Um, you can actually see it's uh, the, the conductive paint has, has built up on here and shorted out some buttons. And that will take out um, all the buttons, a, a big chunk of buttons. It depends on which button gets short out, but basically the thing, the remote thinks you're holding a button down all the time. So the important thing is, is to get this nice and clean. So I've got some rubbing alcohol. I'm just going to wet a rag and clean up. There's really nothing on this you can damage with rubbing alcohol, but still I wouldn't just pour it on there. Just wet the rag. You need to do it a couple times. This one wasn't too bad, but um, when this has the conductive paint on it, you really got to make sure you get it all out of there because there could just be this tiniest invisible little fleck shorting out anything in here. So I'm really going to look over really well to make sure there is, you know, just go over all the buttons more than I really need to just to make sure there's nothing left in there. Glance. The ones that look really bad look really good now. 
I don't see anything. Yeah, you just leave one little fleck in there. It can move around, short out the buttons intermittently. So this is the repair membrane. It does all the buttons and you should never have problems with your buttons again. All you gotta do is line up. I'd, I'd put it down first and make sure you know you didn't get the wrong one or it lines up. You can see there's holes cut out for things that it needs holes for. And the, the important one are the four holes that line up with the holes for the housing because then the keypad has little rubber bumps that are gonna go through that. So when we're lining this up, that is what I'm going to line up is those four holes. So I just flip it over and pick a corner and peel off this brown layer, paper liner. You want to go really slow and gentle. Um, so this one's pretty easy, but some of them will rip if you just rip it off like a band aid. Um, now, this, if you put it down wrong, you don't want to really stick it down anyway. You just want to gently put it down. And if you put it down wrong, you can just peel it up and do it again. But yeah, see, I stuck it there and I didn't really like where it was, so. So I'm lining up those four holes. Let's try this. I gotta look at kind of all four holes at the same time. That's pretty close. I think that'll be fine. Now you don't want to. You want to lay this down really flat. I don't want to be pushing on these buttons to try to stick this down. There's no need for this to stick down any more than it is. Once it's assembled, it won't be able to move. So now we got those four holes with the keypad, and um, they might go through really easy or. If you have any trouble, maybe a pencil, just sort of poke it down in like that. Yeah. And then we just gotta put this on there. But remember the rattling noise I was talking about earlier is this, it's the antenna. And there's a bunch of different ways you could handle this. Um, we could just cram in like a cotton ball. Um, you could add some glue, but um, you're gonna to wanna to use some good glue, maybe Gorilla Glue or Goop, um, just a little bit on the corners. Um, I've got, let's see, I've got some foam sticker stuff. I'm just gonna see if this works. Cut off a little bit like that. I'm gonna put it down in there. I'm not 100% sure this will, uh, stop it from rattling it might need a little bit more padding than this um, but in a pinch I would I would recommend just shoving a cotton ball in here um, make sure it you know it's not covering the rubber keypad or anything you might rip it in half or something but anyway I got that foam in there and I'm just gonna start at the top and put those clips back down let's see yeah so the rattling, it's still rattling a little bit, but it's its very much better, significantly better. And that's it. This remote is repaired. All the buttons should work just as good as new and should stay that way indefinitely. Thanks for watching.